Hello folks, how are you doing today? You'll never believe what I'm doing today. I am trimming cow's feet, imagine that. I'm doing a batch of dry cows here at the moment. Cows that are going dry in the next in the next fortnight, I think. And uh, this cow came into the crush. Surprisingly, she didn't, she didn't look lame at all, but uh, she's got a pretty overgrown foot with a huge big pocket at the top. So that's all gonna have to be stripped away. Let's get it washed and let's see what we've got underneath. There's a lot of rugged overgrown hoof to come off this one. I find the removal of these big chunks really satisfying. When I've removed some of this hoof, I'll show you a different camera angle to show you how much this cow was actually walking on her outer claw. This reversal of weight from the trim must be so comforting to the cow. With every routine trim that we do, we try and get a 50-50 weight bearing balance between both claws. So that's what we're going to do here, but also the fact that there's a lesion in this here, we're going to have to reverse the weight back onto the other claw that originally was doing nothing. And uh, let's see how we get on. We'll probably have to block this. This is the height difference that she's walking on at the moment. So every time this cow takes a step, the outer claw is carrying the large part of our weight. So the fact that there's a lesion in that there now, we're gonna to have to treat that and reverse the weight over onto the other claw until the outer claw repairs. It's a lot of talk about claws. What a great tool the grinder is for getting a nice level surface on the hoof. Back in the olden days, Tom didn't have a grinder and he had to do the complete trim with a knife. I can't say I would have been in a hurry to get into hoof trimming if these great power tools and discs weren't available. So I've now levelled up these claws so they're now taking 50-50 weight bearing between the two of them. So if you look across them they're both nice and level. But because there's a problem with the outer claw, there's a white line lesion with a little bit of digital at the top, we're going to have to reverse the weight and put all the weight onto the inner claw until the outer claw repairs. With the glue setting, all there is to do is remove the loose horn, just like you've seen in loads of trimming videos. Every stage of a trim is important, but the final debriding of these sharp edges is what allows the lesion to recover 100%. Thank <laughs> you. 
Hello girl, are you coming to see how your friend is while she's in the crush? Don't worry, I'm letting her out now, she's finished. So that is what I call a satisfying heel peel trim. Thanks for watching Tech TV, folks. I've got lots more cows to trim and I'm on my own today, so I better get on with the job. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down there and like it, or if you have any comments, comment below. Take care, folks, and all the best. <laughs>